Hi, my name is Tanisha Das and in today's video we will be use we will be seeing how to develop uh, how to use built-in filters and how to develop custom filters in Angular JS. This video is an extension of uh, the previous video in which we developed a notepad application. So we will be enhancing that application in order to show uh, in order to demonstrate custom filters. So what have we built already a notepad application in which we can view different categories of notes. We can create different kinds of notes and now we will be adding the functionality of searching using filters. Now how will we do it? Uh, we had already developed a list of different categories and we had displayed it in the browser. Uh, we will be using a text box now to search through these notes using different kinds of filters. We will also be using built-in filters to display uh, the format the uh, text visible on the browser. What we will be using to develop it is AngularJS, Node.js to develop a local server, Bootstrap, Bootstrap icon library, Sublime Text 2 as the editor. This will be the look and feel of the application wherein we have uh, categories displayed with a search text box added to it. Let me show you how the application will look like. We had developed these categories in the previous tutorial. We have three different types of categories, notes, to-do lists and checklists. Now we have added a search text box here. You can also see a different uh, styling of header over here where every second uh, character is capitalized. This is done using our custom filters which I will be showing you in a short while. We have also added a search text box. Now what does this search text box do? Is when you type something, it will search the content of what is written over here in the notes tab, in this notes panel. Say for example, I type 21. 21 uh, is the date uh, which is visible only for this one note so hence it gets filtered out and all the others are removed so this is also done using built-in filters I can also show you another example where we write uh, the header say note and as you can see there was a note over here which did not have this text and got disappeared let's go further and you can see that all of them are removed they put a space and a 3, this is the one that's left. So, this is uh, what we have developed and I will demonstrate the code in a while. Uh, let me first give you a short overview of what are filters in AngularJS. Filters basically format the value of an expression for display to the user. They can be used in templates, controllers or services. AngularJS comes with a collection of built-in filters and it's also easy to define your own set of filters. Let me show you the built-in filters that we have used. Previously we had created these templates and which were imported using our custom directive defined like this. We have added a search text box here. Now what, how have we done the uh, filtering here is we have an ng model uh, we have given the name search text. Now since um, this is defined outside the directive, it will be available to both these directives as well as the HTML content on this page. So the whole uh, page basically this uh, scope variable will be available. So as earlier we don't need to pass it separately to, to the directive how we have done over here. Okay. Now this text is what we were entering in the text box. How does that filter? Let's go to the template to find out. Now as you can see, I have my ng repeat here which displays the different uh, notes on the screen in the note panel. I have added the text, I have added a syntax over here which has a pipe, the keyword filter and the search text which is my ng model. This basically is a syntax wherein you use a built-in filter which has a keyword filter and whatever text the user types is filtered through the note that is getting displayed. 
So this is one category of built-in filters and this is the syntax. The other category of filters that we have is date. Let me show you the object that we use to display the notes. As you can see here, the date over here in my object is in ISO format. Now I need to display this date in user readable format. So formatting this date is done over here using my built-in filter date. Now these are all keywords which AngularJS has provided us for uh, doing our basic built-in filtering tasks. There are many such built-in filters like currency, number, date and so on. The next thing that we can look here is how we have made our custom filter. Now basically, custom filters are also written in a similar format using the pipe and followed by the name of your filter. This filter is now defined in our application.app.js similar to how we define a directory. My module uh, is app and the way we attach controllers to an app, directives to an app, similar manner we will attach our filter. Now since this filter is attached in the main uh, module and it is attached on the module, it will be available to all your other custom directors, directives as well as functions defined within this module or this controller. So it's like a generic or a global filter. Now this is the name that we had used. Uh, by using this name, I have defined a filter uh, which will basically uppercase every second letter in my object. So what does my ng repeat do here is on every um, object of my array of objects, the first object is passed to my format, my format filter. My format filter over here takes that as a parameter and works on it. It basically checks the length and uh, checks if it's the second character and changes it to uppercase. This is just a small simple example of a uh, basic functionality that you can achieve using filters. You can probably do any kind of logic you want here to filter out the data and uh, have your own uh, custom filter developed for doing the same. So as you can see uh, on the screen, as I showed you, that the uh, the title of every note is changed to the second uppercase letter syntax that we had developed. I would also like to tell you that there is something called filter chaining. You can have uh, many filters added to one single expression. So what happens there is First, it gets filtered by the first filter that is our custom filter in this case. The resultant data is again filtered by the second following filter that you use. So in this manner, you can have many uh, different filters. So that's called filter chaining that AngularJS provides us with. And uh, yeah, so the filter that we have developed here, I have used in all different types of templates that I have. The notes template, the to do template, as well as on the checklist that is given directly in my this HTML page. So, as you can see, it's a global log filter which is accessible from all the places and all HTML files. Filters basically uh, provide us with additional uh, functionality of uh, ordering our uh, data that we display on the screen. We also have things like order by and group by which are basically used on ng repeat to uh, for displaying certain set of information on the screen. The custom filters are basically uh, created using the filter provider service of AngularJS. Now we also have something called stateful filters which will basically maintain your state but it is not advisable to use those filters because they are accessed a lot in your digest cycle. Instead of that you can also have parameters passed to your filter. 
now in this case if you want to pass a pass a parameter you can put a semicolon and add arguments to your uh, filter which will be passed as parameters to your filter function so that provision is also available in angular js so what have we learned here in a, in addition to our previous tutorial we have seen what are basically filters in angular js how built in custom built in filters are used using the pipe operator how custom filters can be defined and how global custom filters can be defined which will be available throughout your directors and throughout your controllers going forward we, there are many other angular js concepts which we can dive into later like dependency injection how to create your own services like how we created filters you can create your own service methods for performing a particular defined task you can create your own factory methods uh, factory methods which will provide you with common functionality that you can call from any controller angular routing which will maintain your uh, url states and help you navigate through your application that's all for this tutorial thanks everyone